We're talking with uh, the director of our Derek Prince Ministries Armenia office, Vazgen, and uh, also Vazgen is responsible for the area of the Caucasus and surrounding areas. So it's wonderful to have you here, Vazgen. And can you tell us a little bit about the work that you're doing in Armenia and surrounding areas? Uh, so it's uh, five years that I'm involved in Derek Prince Ministries and we have translated more than 20 books by Derek. And he's very, very famous in Armenia. So actually I can tell you that he is you know, best, one of the best seller authors in Armenia. So and we are very involved in organizing conferences, uh, nationwide conferences. And we are very famous of organizing reconciliation conference in, uh, I think, 2008. And uh, we, we had a great event, and we had some, you know, guests from Turkey. And as you know, we had a bad history background with Turkey. So uh, we just have this uh, this um, huge event, and some pastors came and asked for forgiveness, and yeah, we we we, don't, we just had a great breakthrough in this in this relationship between Turkey and Armenia. That's good, and I know also you're concentrating quite a bit on ministry to those who are in prison. Can you yeah. talk about that a little bit? Yeah, um, I used to send several books by Derek Prince to the Armenian prisons and we had uh, great, great testimonies from, uh, from prisoners. One of the head, you know, uh, criminals in a prison who used to watch over all the prison, he got saved and he had a great testimony, and uh, especially he, um, he's, he now he, is, uh, he has been released from the prison, and he's very much involved in uh, uh, distributing Derek's materials in the prisons that he used to be there. You're dealing with a, a country that has been traditionally a Christian country, but are there still challenges that you're facing that you'd like people to be aware of? Um, actually, uh, we used to say that Armenia is the first country in the world that adopted Christianity, accepted Christianity in 301. But we still struggle by some, you know, religious extremists, and we really need uh, prayers for, for our ministry, uh, just for protection and to be covered. But all, uh, although I, I just believe that uh, God has opened the doors for, uh, b before us, for Armenian ministry. So. Wonderful. Well, we're so glad that you're doing what you're doing. Would you address our viewers uh, in your native language of Armenian and, and then tell us what you've said after you do? Vokchunum em ashkari bolor hayerin of kernayum en mes. Uzme parzapes kajaler er aser vor hayastana yev hay jogorta ag yev lusa egali tarats ashorjani jogovortneri mech. Amar vort egel vor kas yete du hayes Apa ko arakelutune taratel Christosi avetarne agotir mesamar agotir me tsarayutan amar vor Hayastani grasenya kaderek prinsi tsarayutan ad Luisa yevaga tarati ambox tarat ashorjano mek. So I just encourage my Armenian friends that uh, I just believe that God has called Armenian nation to be a um, uh, light um, and soul in this region because actually will. We live surrounded by Muslim nations, so I just encourage them to be light everywhere where they are and to pray for their Prince Minister's Armenian office and to fulfill its uh, task. Thank you so much, Vaskin. And for those who are watching, if you've uh, been touched by this and you know that uh, God is speaking to you, please pray for Vaskin and his family as they minister in Armenia and the surrounding areas. Pray that God will protect them and pray that God will bring great favor to the ministry as they spread the word of Derek Prince Ministries' legacy of teaching in that region of the world. Thank you so much for watching.